Oh, why, hello there. Uh, just out here doing some front porch sitting, contemplating life and such. Uh, out here enjoying the freedoms we still have here in America while they last. Uh, word has it around the campfires, uh, some folks have it writhing in their heads that uh, red dots are for suckers. Uh, most folks been behind the iron sight so long that they, uh, they get in their own heads and they think that they can't find the dot if they pop it up in front of their noggin. Well, I'm here to dispel some of those tr uh, myths and uh, let's get on into it, well, shall we? So what I want to cover today is the fact that some people out there perpetuate that they cannot find their red dots because of the one or two times they try to pop it up there in front of their face and they can't find it. They're expecting not to see it. So the people who had a lot of experience behind iron sights, myself included, can basically pop it up there and be ready to break the shot with very little correction to the, the sight picture. Why can you not do that with a red dot? When I grab a red dot sighted gun, I can just pop it up there and the mechanically it's going to be a centimeter or less above the front sight, usually, depending on the mount, depending on all that stuff. But it should be right there with the irons, not far from it. We were born with an innate natural ability to point. Hey, look, there's a charging rhino coming to get us. Hey, look, right there. There is something to eat up in that tree. So let's use that natural ability that we have to go ahead and point whatever you have to point in the pistol, in case of the pistol, most of it is we're pointing our thumbs if we use that type grip. Whatever you concentrate on, your look, you concentrate on what you to point with, and then you can automatically shoot. Pretty much, there's little, I'm not even aiming and I'm hitting an A zone about uh, 15 feet away. Eat right in the center. I'm just, it's just a natural thing to do. So some of the excuses that I hear uh, about people accustomed so much to their iron sights and afraid to experiment or, or train to red dot, um, there's plenty of people out there on YouTube and actual trainers out there. If you're the type of person that has to go through that stuff, by all means do that. Go to those folks that have experience in walking you through the steps because that may be the way that you have to process this. But please think initially that maybe you are just in your own way mentally. So let's get out to the range. We'll do some experimentation. We'll shoot without using our sights. Hopefully that makes something click in your own mind where you can uh, actually have some self-confidence transitioning from your irons to a red dot. Let's get on out there and uh, see what happens. Uh, let's do an experiment, uh, see where we're at today with uh, you know between five and three yards of just uh, getting the gun up, maybe center line, and uh, seeing where we can uh, print on that target without using the sight. Uh, and to get a little bit more confidence in ourselves um, safely. And that, that's always key is to be safe. All right, let's get into it. So what this is, is just an experiment. That's it. Uh, don't be shooting like this on the street without total confidence of where your bullet's going. This is just an experiment to see what, you know, what our uh, parameters are that we have to work with, with our own ability. I'm just going to concentrate on part of the circle the a zone circle and then see if i can hit it by just drawing without looking at the sights
right, I'm seeing a pattern here. So what we have here on that string was uh, all the shots are kind of left of center. Most likely because my natural point of aim, I wasn't set up on the target correctly. And I wasn't putting my center line to the target. Uh, Mr. Miyagi says, Karate never here. But, uh, unfortunately for shooters and everything and people in sports and competitions it is so your center line uh, helps your ability to get a good shot on you know whether it's basketball or whether it's firearms whatnot um, always line yourself up properly but here you can see it's a little off uh, this is just an experiment um, to see what I can do with five yards of just drawing and just looking at the where I want the bullet to go and uh, pressing the trigger and trusting myself. Now, would I do this on the street? No, but uh, it's just an experiment to see what my parameters are. I once heard an old Stygian witch in a mountain say, you gotta, you gotta learn to punch and you gotta learn to take a punch, but it's for the children. So now we're at the three yard line uh, see if this distance helps with the uh, the chances of success on the target where I want to hit. Um, so let's shoot about five rounds and see what that looks like on the target. All right, that was uh, might be a lucky shot, but it was right in the zero. but it was still uh, in the zero. I tried to rush it a little bit faster, tried to rush the shot. Right. So on that, I Mozambique, I didn't... Uh, <clears throat> So on that, I just popped it out from about midline, uh, shot two rounds and then one in the face uh, with, with success from three yards. The point I'm trying to make with this experiment is to just kind of show that uh, what, the, what the boundaries are of your own skill level. There's no reason why you should be that far off on your red dot presentation other than the fact that you don't trust yourself enough to pop that up there and uh, and be able to shoot a, a, a good shot. Have it up there every time that you want it. So hopefully that kind of covered or give you a new uh, outlook on red box and your natural ability to just point and shoot uh, within safe environments, of course. Um, but uh, just to give you another another point of view in order to uh, wrap your head around the whole process of the stuff and not just get pigeonholed by what everybody else is saying that, uh, that how you think and that's where we get into trouble is when you you hear something maybe negative it impacts you negative negatively and then it's a, a vicious cycle there on then now you're spewing that garbage to somebody else I can't shoot my dot as good as my irons. But reality says that the damn dot is very close to uh, where your front sight is. All right, I just want to leave you with this, uh, a realization that I realize personally, uh, I have done nothing good and I've said nothing good without uh, the help of my Lord Jesus Christ and his spirit working through me. I've come to that realization. Um, looking back on my uh, on my years, um, and I just want to uh, get that out to everybody. Um, all that good news. Uh, it kept me from. Uh, <clears throat> if I would have died lost, I would have been lost forever. But uh, everything that he put in place, all the people that uh, throughout my life. Uh, I'm very thankful for them. Um, yeah, God bless you. Again, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hit that bell, subscribe, do whatever. I'm going to try to keep doing this stuff. 
Uh, I got tons of knowledge of shooting, but not so much of uh, doing videos. But uh, hopefully I get better in time and uh, hopefully you can keep enjoying these things.